Hello everyone, hello God's people. Uh, my name is OJ. Um, you can also call me the watchman. Uh, the Bible has called all of us to be watchmen, to be contenders uh, for the faith. So I send greetings to you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I would just like to do a very brief video uh, regarding the observations I made um, about the current uh, meeting between uh, Daddy Freeze and uh, Dr. Sonde Adelaja uh, lately. See, they discussed a lot of things, a lot of interesting things in that video, uh, but they, what really concerns me is the confusion they brought to the table, as far as I'm concerned, regarding um, Allah of the Quran and um, Yahweh of the Bible. But before I just uh, play this video and uh, just show you um, um, the interesting uh, discussion they had or the interesting contributions they made, I'd just like to make it very clear that um, I am not um, like against the, the, the persons of um, Adilaja and um, Daddy Freeze as such. You know, I there are people who have blessed me in one way or the other and impacted my life and I, I also recognize the fact that um, they have opened the eyes of many people and they have uh, liberated a lot of blind folks from the, the many of these cabals fleecing the flock. Uh, many of these geos and celebrity pastors, jet flying uh, preachers and the seed sowing uh, preachers that have, um, you know, uh, made merchandise of the gospel and have um, taken advantage of that position to exploit God's people. So I, I'm very much aware of their contributions. But, you know, like I say, brethren, just like I would say about myself as well, nobody's above reproach. You know, if as Christians, we should be uh, watchmen. We should be looking at um, um at, a, at our father's house we should be looking after our father's house we should be contending for the faith as the bible says we should so if any of these men however uh, it doesn't matter how much we love them um begins to go astray and lead god's people astray especially considering their uh, significant uh, positions in the in the in this revolution i think we need to speak up you know lately daddy freeze came out and um, um, uttered that blasphemous statement that anyone who um, tells you that Jesus is the only way to get to God is a thief and a liar and one trying to get at your money. Till today, we haven't had any form of explanation from him regarding that particular statement. I mean, he has not explained or apologized to the Christian community. He hasn't done anything, but he's carried on. He's still preaching, you know, and um, it should give us consent in the body of Christ that... Um, someone like this can claim to be a leader raising shepherds and yet deny the very rudimentary aspects of the christian faith is it's very very shocking it's an important um, aspect and while i will continue to emphasize on this is, is that i'd like to draw your attention to the the fact that you might have let me just uh, get something uh, so you might have a this filled with water or juice to the to the brim and everything may be sweet juice to the you know to the to the brim you can have this bottle filled with juice okay but remember it, it may just take only about three percent or five percent content of poison to kill you so the reason I'm, I'm making this analogy is to let you see that those people who are carried away by the initial wave of daddy freeze his titan the truth he spoke about Titan, the truth he spoke about uh, the Jews fleeting the flock, the truth is uh, he spoke about false speaking in tongues and some other things, uh, tend to miss the fact that people are still human beings. And as Christians, we, we with the Spirit of God, we need to be discerning. So we shouldn't follow a man into the ditch just because he's spoken truth under certain circumstances. We should be much more designed as Christians. So I want to use that as an opportunity to say that whilst many of us may love these men, love Daddy Freeze, love the, um, Adelaja, we should also remember that they are not Jesus Christ. They are not men. They are, fa they are fallible men and they could also go into error. And when they do, it's our, it's our duty to point out these errors. In love though, but we must, we must be able to bring this in out to the, to the round table. We should, be able to, we should be able to discuss these things as, you know, as Christians. So I don't, I'm not um, 
I don't support the idea where somebody just speaks and nobody can respond. There's no avenue for people to have a dialogue regarding that concept of what the person, you know, has said. But in, a, in any case, so, um, so I don't um, just waste time. I want to just play the video. It's quite an interesting video where uh, Daddy Freeze and Adela Jaya met and discussed um, issues that had to do with the Christian faith um, uh, as it relates to the Muslim, the, the God of the Muslim and the God of the Bible and their take and how they both united, uh, they, they both became united in thought to believe that um, Allah of the of the Quran is the same God as um, Yahweh of the Bible. And um, let me just briefly say this, that um, it's very, very sad to see the kinds of references uh, Adela Jan Daddy Freeze used to come to that conclusion because in my opinion and i'll say that with due respect to them it really goes to show how so spiritually inept they are when they are when they are designing or considering this matter you know making references to things like god blessing ishmael ishmael being the the uh, brother of isaac and god bless ishmael promise that he's going to be uh, make make 12 princes out, out of him is god a wicked god <laughs> is god a wicked god what do you expect <laughs> God blessing Ishmael, okay, doesn't mean that the fact that one of their descendants, thousands of years down the line, received a revelation from Satan himself, the enemy, to distort what Yahweh has said and forms a new religion called Islam, doesn't mean that because they make claims to the same God of Abraham, we, we should be that oblivious to the devil's devices and just say, yes, they make claims now. They said it's the same Abraham we are serving. So it's the same, it's same sorry, it's the same, it's the same God of Abraham we are serving. So it's the same God. And then we just, they just carried away by such naivety without being much more spiritually discerning. I've touched on these things before, but I feel the need to just press on it again a little bit. But towards the end of the video, I will just touch on it again so that we can see how, we can see the problem we have here and how, I believe that Delaj and Daddy Freeze are now beginning to lead mislead God's people in this direction. When you teach that a God who has sent a prophet to wish Christians destruction for believing that the sacred thing which this God himself professed, when you teach that that God is the same as Yahweh, what people do not know is that you're insulting Yahweh. You see, because <laughs> you you can't have it both ways. One of them is lying. So either you're making Yahweh a liar or you're making Allah a, li a liar. You have to choose one. No sentiments about this. You cannot have the same God sent to prophets with two mutually exclusive messages, conflicting messages, and then say that they are the same God without even being spiritually discerning. I mean, the sentiments they apply towards the, the Ishmael thing is so ridiculous because I give you an example it's like someone saying well you know Isaac Newton of course a very great scientist uh, it was a uh, you know when it comes to physics uh, Isaac Newton one of the greatest scientists that ever lived and he was a Christian as well born again um, you know the argument Adela Janda the freeze bring to the table here is like it's similar to one saying you see Isaac Newton was a was a scientist so therefore, his descendant, thousands of years be down the line, you know, his son is also a scientist. That is the reasoning they are giving here. That's the reason reasoning they are bringing to the table. So the fact that God blessed Ishmael and was kind to Ishmael and said he was going to bless his generations... Can't Daddy Freeze and Adela just see that it doesn't that doesn't stop one of his descendants? That same generation doesn't stop one of his descendants from being influenced by the devil by receiving a revelation from the devil to start a religion that would deceive the whole world and then create a cocktail of Christianity, paganism, and different religions and just put them into one, make them so similar, and create this religion of Islam and say, Oh, yes, same God. And then Daddy Freeze and Adela are just simply falling. For this simple device of the devil which they can't even discern it's sad so let me play the video and then I'll like I said I'll make my comment and um, we will we will go from there um, so just um, 
let me find that video and then uh, we'll see what um, they said and I want you to be pay particular attention to Adela just contradiction here and I want you to also see the psychology that the freeze used on him to win him to his side because the, the default position uh, of Adelaja was that the Muslim God is another God but I want you to see how uh, that is tactically you see preempted the situation and uh, try to put him under the spot put him under pressure to 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 speak the same thing he was speaking and Adelaja fell for me for it and then they began to play this uh, partisan politics which you will see very very shortly okay so um, let's see this Okay, so there you go. Uh, let's hear this now. Only division. And that is why my campaign over the last... You see, there are many wrongs in the church. One of the wrongs is the notion that Islam would lead you to hell. Okay. It's, it's one of the wrong notions of the cross. Of, of the church and it shows that our understanding of the scripture is limited mm -hmm. we all the, I don't know if you've heard this um, propaganda that we all serve different gods oh, yeah. that the god of the Muslims yep. is different from the god of the Christians yep. you see things like that you can say the god of the Muslim the god of uh, the Christians is different from the god of the Hindus yeah. Because the Hindus have many gods. But but Christians, you can say the God of the Christians, Muslims. Muslims, and Jews, they have one God, yeah. Sunday Adelaja, Dr. Sunday, I cannot believe you are saying this. Yeah. They are one, one because God. Because I have been but, castigated. But the difference is with the prophet, you know. I can't believe you are saying this. Yes, I know that. You are one of the only Christians I have ever met <laughs> that admit to this. As a matter of fact, my followers, many of whom would be watching right now, because we had this debate, they said, because when I informed um, my closest support group that, look, I'm going to have a meeting with Dr. Adelaja, they proposed questions that you might ask. Uh, and they said, you know, Dr. Adelaja also believes that we serve different gods. I said, I don't think Dr. Adelaja, with his level of enlightenment, can. All right, I want you to hear that. It's, you see how um, it's important to or, or see how what Daddy Freeze has done here. Okay, he, he see how he he um, tries to get Adelaja to his his um, his side uh, by already preempting him by using reverse psychology on him. He heard when he said, um, "I don't think that." Um, Dr. Adelaja with his level of enlightenment. You see, when you already begin to tell someone that, okay, you already you already put that person on the spot. And in such a way that you don't want that person to disappoint you, you then tend to want to reason along the same line. And he got Adelaja there. You see, he heard what he said. I don't think someone uh, like Adelaja with his level of enlightenment will, will, will believe this. But the truth about it is that that's what Adelaja believed. That's what he believes. But you know, Adelaja, being the politician that he could be sometimes, uh, of course, he, he he swayed because his aim is just to uh, have a common ground with Daddy Freeze and have a good time with the people and unite thoughts and all that. But the people were right because they had heard Adelaja say these things. They had, they had heard Adelaja preach these things that the Muslim and the Allah was a different God, another God. And I'm going to play that for you to hear. So this was what people had heard. In fact, very clearly in his series, How to Be a Friend of God, this was what Adelaja was teaching. So it was that, this was what people heard and that's what they went to Daddy Freeze and that's why they told him, said, look, this is what this man teaches. That the, the, the Allah is a different God and that's exactly the truth. But Daddy Freeze has come here and put some kind of pressure, psychological um, pressure on, on um, Adelaja and he's falling from it. And by the way, now it, it's beginning to make sense because you see, I've always wondered why Daddy Freeze has been so obsessed, obsessed with this Islamic thing. And, you know, someone, maybe it's one of his followers, I don't really know, but just wrote on my wall recently that his boss is a Muslim and his dad is a Muslim. I was like, if, well, if that's the case, I'm like, well, it explains a lot of things now. I mean, where you feed from, <laughs> you have to, you have to be very careful to always, uh, you know, pat the back of, you know, the spoon that feeds you. So it's now becoming clear and is now making a lot of sense 
why he's been driving this Islamic campaign for a very long time. But let's leave that again. I want to just play that and I want you to see again how um, Daddy Freeze uses this um, reverse psychology on him to, to make uh, Adelaja um, you know, come to his side contrary to what Adelaja really believes. You see, the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in his ways. Three months ago, in Adelaja's teaching, How to Know the Friend of God, Adelaja was clearly teaching that the God of Islam was another God. But here, just within three months, a teacher of God's people is wavering. I don't know. But hear this, you know, just hear this again and just, and then let's, it will move to the scene where Adelaja himself, um, once said that uh, what's uh, that um, Allah is a is a is a different God. That look, I'm going to have a meeting, with Dr. Delaja. They proposed questions that you might ask, uh, and they said, you know, Dr. Delaja also believes that we serve different gods. I said, I don't think Dr. Delaja, with his level of enlightenment, mm. can be following that school of thought. Now listen, you guys. Will listen. you then be a Muslim or a Buddhist or a Hindu or somebody who is serving and worshiping another god, could you be a worshiper of another god and still be and still be and still know God and be a friend of God? I would disagree here because I think that if you are worshiping another god like Muhammad, like the Islamic god, and you you have that right. If you're worshipping another god like Muhammad, apparently he made this a mistake and then he clarified like the Islamic god. You heard that. So he clearly referred to Islamic god as another god. Okay? So let's hear that again. Let's hear that again. I'm going to play that again. A friend of God. I would disagree here. Because I think that if you are worshipping another god like Muhammad, like the Islamic God, and you are worshiping, following, you are a follower of Muhammad. You know, I've, I've started studying a lot of Islam these days, and I know that there's no way you could be a lover of truth and be a follower of one. There's no way you could be a lover of people, a lover of God, a lover of truth, and reject Jesus Christ. And, I, and what I think is that the way Islam seems is, is right now, they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And they don't believe that Jesus is God. So there is no way you will be a lover of truth and you will deny Jesus. It's in common. You have to open your eyes and acknowledge <laughs> what we have in common. And one of the things that we have in common with Islam is the God. We are serving the same God. That Allah is the same God we are all serving. <laughs> Oh gosh! You see, is is can you see this is a, this is this is really very, this is a comedy, really. You know, someone that's why someone said, you know, I was trying to. He just called me some time ago and was talking. I was like, oh, are you listening to what's going on recently? Have you been listening to what's going on recently? And you know, this um, the guy just told me, well, look, I don't have time. I don't listen to Daddy Freeze and Adela. I only listen to them when I just want some form of comedy, and I can understand where he's coming from because I mean, this is a man who's who was just, who has just said that. The Allah is another God, and then now he's coming to, you know, with zeal to make this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this chant and this uh, very, very um, passionate statement that we have to agree that we have this in common that we have one God. Oh, Doctor Sunday, please, you people should stop confusing. The people of God and be a man of your word. Be stable. If you are preaching one thing, be honest with that thing and stick to it. You preach the truth when you started this series. Now you've met with Daddy Freeze and you're singing a different song. It's shameful. Now, brethren, let's hear that again. Let's hear Adelaja when he was actually speaking the truth. Let's hear him out again. And I'll just let it play on from here. Because I think that. If you are worshipping another god like Muhammad, like the Islamic god, and you are worshipping, following, you are a follower of Muhammad, that you don't have anything in common. You have to open your eyes and acknowledge what we have in common. 
And one of the things that we have in common with Islam is the God. We are serving the same God. That Allah is the same God we are all serving. Because I think that if you are worshipping another God like Muhammad, like the Islamic God, and you are worshipping, following, you are a follower of Muhammad, they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And they don't believe that Jesus is God. So there is no way you will be a lover of truth and you will deny Jesus. Wow. See, that's so profound and that's so true. You see, so his initial position reflected the truth about this controversy or this conflict between um, who Yahweh is and who Muhammad is. So you see, there he was actually speaking the truth. But when he met with Daddy Freeze, he began to play partisan politics, which I feel was just very, very shameful. But to be frank with you, I'm not surprised. You know, it's something you would expect of uh, someone like Dr. Adelaja anyway. Um, but you've heard it yourself. Um, <laughs> Daddy Freeze and Adelaja, they, they, they met and uh, this is the result of their um, discussion. And they've come to the conclusion that um, Allah of the Quran is Yahweh of the Bible. Uh, but that's evidently false. Um, so what I want to do now, and I, although I've done this in time past, I just want to um, quickly just make reference to certain passages in the Bible and in the Quran that will clearly show that the claims of these men who are teaching and leading God's people astray are false. In fact, I, I'll i make good to say that um, if you say that Allah of the Quran is Yahweh of the Bible, you've just insulted Jesus Christ and his God and our God and Father, Yahweh. And I will show you why. You have just insulted Yahweh by saying that Allah is Yahweh. Why? Because one of them is a liar. The Bible says that one of them is a liar. And I will show you. So, if you say that a liar is Yahweh, you have just insulted Yahweh. Now, brethren, and I pray that by the Spirit of God and by the grace of God, that God's people will remove sentiments and their biases and their sentimental attachments towards this man and I pray, Father, that your spirit will begin to give your people understanding that you will release them from this grip and lies of the devil. That, Father, you would give them understanding to see what Satan is doing and how he's trying to deceive people, deceive people in the body of Christ. I pray that you liberate your people through your word. As we open your word now, I pray that, Father, that you will give your people understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Now, I want us to look at clear text from the scriptures and let us compare with the Quran. And let us, the Bible says we should test all spirits. We should be like the Berean Christians. Now, let's put the claims of Adelaja and Daddy Freeze to test right now with the scriptures and with the Quran. So, now let's go to, let's start with the scriptures. And brethren, please follow, just be patient and follow and just prayerfully meditate on these things and begin to see the implications because it's only then you will see what the devil is doing and what the devil has done and what he's still doing and what he's trying to do. Now let's go to the scriptures and I want to show you um, Yahweh's testimony. That's the God of the Bible. And I'm going to read these notes that I have here. So just follow me clearly. Okay. So, it says here that, I say, um, Yahweh's testimony through his son and prophet Jesus. Regarding Jesus, the God of the Bible clearly testifies that Jesus is his son. So, you see, there's no ambiguity about that. He testifies that Jesus is his son. Okay, now, in Second Peter... 117 it says here for he jesus received from god the father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased john 3 16 also goes on to say for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life you see let me just add at this at this point that um i believe that daddy freeze makes a very very um, um serious um, um, mistake in thinking that the problem we are dealing with here is just a matter of uh, misunderstanding in how we approach uh this uh, this god that is the, how he looks at it and that is what he thinks he thinks that oh it's the same god which don't be silly it's just a different understanding of the same god but you see um the truth about it it's uh, it is much more than that much more than that we need to be very very discerning that satan himself is trying to is his he's maxed himself as as, as the God of the Bible and is deceiving millions of people. That's what people do not know. Now we see clearly this testimony. Let's go back. Let's continue with the notes. I just finished reading that from uh, from Second Peter one seven, right? That God Himself, Yahweh from heaven, spoke and said, "This is my beloved Son," right? So if Yahweh is Allah, you would expect that the same Allah, right, will testify of the same thing through another prophet. It is just commonsensical. This just goes beyond a different understanding that 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 freeze that the freeze's naive and simplistic application of this is so it, it again it really just goes to show how spiritually inept these men are when they when they so when they so when they so approach this thing from such a simplistic perspective. That's why the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. Now let us see what Allah says of himself. See what Allah says now. Read this very carefully. Let's go through this is Allah's testimony from, from the Quran. See what Allah is inspired his prophet Muhammad to write contrary to Yahweh's testimony which we have just seen above remember this is my beloved son right now Quran 1988 listen to this very carefully brethren Christians please prayerfully meditate on this and don't be carried away by your sentimental attachment towards this man be be real Christians be discerning let the spirit of God reveal truth to you those who say I'm reading now the Lord of mercy has begotten a son preach a monstrous falsehood at which the very heavens might crack the earth break asunder and the mountains crumble to dust they that should ascribe a son that sorry that they should as ascribe a son to the merciful when it does not become the lord of mercy to be got to beget one so now brethren pause here now before i continue now remember let's look at the implication of this so Allah is inspiring this God that is Allah he's inspiring his prophet to say that the ones who say that the Lord of heaven has begotten a son preaches a monstrous falsehood so what I want you to see here brethren that Allah is saying is that Yahweh is a liar Allah is saying that Yahweh who testifies thou art my son this day have I begotten thee is preaching a monstrous falsehood so brethren clearly we can see that Allah cannot be Yahweh because Yahweh Allah is indicting Yahweh our God our true God for testifying that he's begotten a son but here we see that in the Quran it says that the one, those who say, and who said, who's, who are those who say, Jesus himself, who are those who say, Yahweh himself, Yahweh said, this day have I begotten thee. Allah says, those who say, including Yahweh, because Yahweh is part of those who say, I have begotten a son. He says, the Lord of mercy has begotten a son. He said, they preach monstrous falsehood. So Allah is saying that Yahweh is testifying of falsehood. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Daddy Freeze and Adelajah. Are you that blind and naive? Are you that simplistic in your understanding that you cannot see what is going on? That the freeze open your eyes. You don't even know the Quran. You don't even know what the devil is doing. I pray that someday your eyes will be open. It says, Those who say the Lord of mercy has begotten a son preach a monstrous falsehood at which the very heavens might crack, the earth break asunder, and the mountains crumble to dust. That they should ascribe a son to the to the merciful when it does not become the Lord of mercy to beget one. And Daddy Freeze and Adelaja says that this Allah is Yahweh. Brethren, let's not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Let's move on now. See this now. This is another very interesting. Let's look at the Quran, chapter 
9 verse 30. Now, this is not only does Allah's prophet deny the testimony of Yahweh, he wishes all Christians destroyed, that we should be destroyed for testifying of the very things that Yahweh testified of. The last time we had our discussion about that the freeze and the rise of the one world religion, I wasn't able to bring this verse out. So this is an opportunity for me to do this so that people can see. Now, Quran 930, I'm sure you can see it on the screen. I'm sure you should have read it yourself so we can see what we are dealing with here. It says, and the Jews say Ezra is the son of, is, is God's son. While the Christians say the Christ is God's son. Now listen to this. Such are the saints which they, which they utter with their mouths following in spirit assertions made in earlier times by people who denied the truth. Now listen to this. They deserve the implication. May God destroy them. How perverted are their minds. So the one who professes so this is it the implication is that as you can see the prophet of islam declared destruction for all messianic jews and christians because they uphold one of the core tenets of the christian faith that jesus is the son of god the son, the testimony of yahweh himself that came from heaven brethren what else do you need to see what else do you need to see to let you see who allah truly is amidst the blind and simplistic so spiritually inept arguments or, or, or postulations the likes of Adelaja and that the Frees are making our profession that Jesus is the son of God Allah inspires his prophet to say that we imitate unbelievers and we should we, we will deserve the implication of that confession destruction that may his God destroy us now doesn't Come on, even if you have half a fish brain, not even a human brain, fish brain, what else do you need to see? Now, the God who says, this is my beloved son, hear ye him, is the same God that is sending another prophet to wish us destruction for testifying of what he testified. What kind of, so I don't know, you have to, so you see, you see why I told you that those who say that the God of Islam is the God of Yahweh, are calling Yahweh a liar. They are, they are insulting Yahweh, but they do not know that they are insulting Yahweh. Because Allah has made Yahweh a liar and Yahweh has made Allah a liar. So they can't be the same God. So make your pick. Which one is a liar? I will tell you who is a liar because the Bible tells us who is a liar. Let's proceed. Let's go on. Now, Hear what the scriptures say. John 20, 31. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and believing that and that believing ye might have life through his name. So you see, this is the context of life and salvation, that are belief in the fact that Jesus is the Son of God, which is what the enemy tries to deny. Because it's only when you believe he's the Son of God, you can believe in his salvific work on the cross. To his death and his blood. John 14, 15. Listen to this. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. <laughs> so what about Muhammad who is denying that? Who is inspired by Allah to say, God does not beget a son? You can figure out that yourself. Now, now let's move on. Now, I must remind all followers of the faith of what the scriptures say about the likes of Allah. Of the Muslim and his prophet. Now, this, this is a very, very key verse here, brethren. Very, very key. Very, very key. First John 5.10. Now, listen to this very carefully, brethren. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not, God hath made him a liar. Because he, had, because he believeth not the record that God gave about his Son. Very clear. Very clear, brethren. He that believeth not in the testimony that Jesus is the Son of God, what? Yahweh has made that person a liar. So Yahweh has made Allah a liar. So when you say Allah is Yahweh, you are saying that Yahweh is a liar. You see, you see that's, people do not know the implications of what they say when they say things. Let's read it again. He that believeth on the Son of God had a witness in himself. He that believeth not, God had made him a liar because he believeth not the record of God. So the record of God about his son is that this is my son. So when we look at now, if you say you are a Christian, right? 
and you you believe the testimony of Yahweh and we you we follow the scriptures that clearly tell us that the one that say the one that says that Jesus is not the son that God doesn't have a son that Yahweh has made that person a liar so if Yahweh has made Allah and his prophet liars how can Allah be Yahweh brethren this is not rocket science I am praying that the spirit of God will enlighten the hearts of men the hearts of God's people to see what the devil is doing here okay now let's continue let's compare again this with the Quran 1988 those who say the Lord of mercy has begotten a son preach a monstrous falsehood at which the very heavens might crack the earth break asunder and the mountains crumble to dust that they should ascribe a son to the merciful when it does not become the Lord of mercy to beget one. <laughs> Hebrew chapter 1 was very clear when the Bible says, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And the Bible says that the one that doesn't believe that testimony, Yahweh has made him a liar. Again, the Jews say that's quran 930 ezra is god's son these are messianic messianic jews of course not all jews believe it, that most of the jews don't believe that jesus is son of god but we have some messianic jews who believe okay while the christians say christ is god's son such are the saints which they utter with their mouths following in spirit assertions made in earlier times by people who deny the truth they deserve the implication. So what is the implication of that testimony, of that confession, a sacred confession of the faith? May God destroy them. Which God? Yahweh? And you say Yahweh is Allah? Shame on you. Shame on all of you. Shame. How perverted are their minds? So my brother, it is plain, my brethren here, it is plain that Allah can never be the God of, of the Bible. Yahweh, the only true God, has made Allah and his prophet liars because Allah's testimony denies the testimony of Yahweh and his son. First John 5.11 And this is the record that God had given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. Not just a prophet. Not just a good man. First John 5.12 He that had the son had life. He that had not the son of God had not life. Brethren, <laughs> what else do we need to see? So I need you to see the truth from the scriptures and from the Quran so that we no longer become children tossed you know to and fro like the Bible says by every wind of doctrine but I'm praying that the truth from these verses and I'm trusting that the Spirit of God will reach out to his people and reach out to that phrase and Adelajah and make them see their error and make them see how they are misleading God's people in this regard. We don't have to believe that Allah is God to love Muslims. Like I said before, I have Muslim friends that are wonderful. I love them and I know they love me. I acknowledge in our differences that we don't have serve the same God hasn't made us love any us any less. So it's a lie and a propaganda to say when you when you when you deny or you don't agree that you have the same God. That's what's causing the enmity. It's just a lie. It's propaganda is a lie. I have Hindu friends as well. Lovely Hindu friends. Do we fight and quarrel? And is there enmity between us because we don't acknowledge that? We, uh, because we acknowledge we don't have the same God? No. You can still love. In truth. In acknowledging that your God is different. That there is a claim. You see another thing I feel that. That the freeze and Adelaja are oblivious of is the fact that they think that because somebody is making a claim to something, it means that that claim is true. That is not what makes something true. It's the claim. You have to look at the facts and evidence. Okay? It's like someone coming to the university to say, I'm a student of the university. Yes, this uh, um, this is my VC. I know this is my HOD. Really? Okay. Where Where is your ID card? Uh, well, I don't, uh, I don't have it. The, the, ID, the ID card is showing um, ID card, a forged ID card from um, 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 Okopoli. But yet you're saying you're, you're, you're making claims that you are a student of Uni, Uniben, but you don't have the ID card of Uniben. That's the same thing. So it's not just enough for the Muslims to claim that 
the God of the Bible is their God, whereas the testimony of their God contradicts Yahweh. So that's how we know that their God is not Allah. It's not by just infantile, childish arguments of Ishmael. It was if it was Isaac's brother, that, that, that God blessed his descendants and all. He's got a wicked God. He will bless them. But that doesn't stop somebody down the line from that generation yielding to Satan to form a religion that would deceive millions of people. And that's exactly what happened. We can see there from, from we can see that this is the fact from the clear scriptures of uh, from the from the Quran and from the Bible. So, brethren, I pray that God would use this as a blessing and eye opener to His people. And um, it's sad that Adelaja once started with the truth. This is what he preached when he started his series, "How to Be a Friend of God." He started that with the truth, and those convictions he got, I believe, that they were from God, to to stay on the path about how he he was able to discern that. He said it that he doesn't believe that anyone who doesn't know Christ, who serves another God, you see, can actually find the path of the truth or to walk in the love of God. That's what he said until he met Daddy Freeze. And Daddy Freeze hypnotized him <laughs> with reverse psychology. And this is the same Daddy Freeze that was saying, oh, sit down and learn from me and Adelaja when there's evident confusion here. They don't even seem to know the rudiments, ABCs of how to exegete scriptures and rely on the Holy Spirit to give understanding to come to the right conclusion. Just using wisdom, the carnal wisdom of men to come to, to, come to very, very faulty conclusions. Brethren, don't sit down and learn from anybody Sit down and learn from the Holy Spirit. Even if you're going to learn from anybody, make sure that that person is yielded to the Holy Spirit. Because many deceivers will come into the world. Even many people who started well. Look at the likes of Aribi Salah. Very fantastic theologian. When he dissects tithes, wonderful. When he enters the doctrine of Trinity and things, wonderful. But the same Aribi Salah that is anti-Paul, that says anti Paul is an antichrist. So you need to be very careful. You see, the devil don't devil can use anybody, anybody. If Peter was used, if the likes of Daddy Freeze was used when he said anyone telling you that Jesus is the only way to God is a thief and a liar, of which he hasn't repented or even explained to the Christian community what he meant till today. He's just simply there, just insulting people and belittling people, telling people that they are not up to his standards to to debate him. And by the way, I want to use this opportunity to also let the Christian community that have made several attempts, challenges to Daddy Freeze for us to have an open discussion or an open debate. He has repeatedly evaded these things. Said he would send Giga Collins to finish me. As if this is a competition. It's not a competition. I just want a discussion out there in the open. But he says we are trying to use him to climb the social ladder and our imbeciles. You know, and I'm wondering that how can somebody who claims to understand the scriptures even be speaking like this? The Bible says we are all supposed to, we are supposed to serve others, right? We are supposed to be equals. So, if then the basis for which he would not debate or engage someone like me is that uh, according to him i'm trying to f build followers which of course people who know me i don't care about any of those things i don't care about popularity if my life and my and what i am doing my platform doesn't decrease me and increase jesus then i have failed in my mission the moment people begin to look at me and they can't see anything christ about what i'm doing and it's it's me that the focal attention of this platform is me and not Christ, then I have failed. Who cares about popularity? I don't care about those things. But you see, what Daddy Freeze doesn't know is that the same criteria, that same arrogant criteria, and that self-aggrandizing criteria, he uses to dismiss people who don't necessarily pull crowd or anything. It's the same thing, the likes of Oedekbo and uh, Pastor Chris were using dismissing you. On what basis then do you say you want to challenge them? They, were, they are also going to make that same kind of argument against you. Oyelekpa will simply tell you that when you're able to have like 50,000 uh, 50, people, when you have 50,000 real people, not virtual followers who are just following you and there, when you're able to have 50,000 people in your service and have three services, then you can come and talk. It, this kind of self-aggrandizing statements. You see, you want to you, you want to debate people like Oyelekpa and Adeboye and feel you are qualified, whereas based on the canal arguments you make against people like us, there's no reason why they should debate you because you are nothing compared to them. And I'm speaking carnally now, you understand, brethren, based on the carnality he's using. You are just a social media, like they say. <laughs> I don't want to use the word yo-yo guy, but people don't even take you seriously. Many people don't even believe you're a, you're a Christian. But I just want to be soft on that. But I can understand why, why, why they have those concerns. 
you're floating a platform you call uh, you know um, free nation and all that and, and and then you want to you want to you want to challenge the senior Jews all them Reverend Chris which of course I don't believe in these ministries anyway but I'm only just going by your canality you see brethren something interesting about that phrase is that he says I am not ar arrogant and he he tries to use Jiga as the um, standard to define whether he's arrogant or not of course you don't it's not you like like V said and I, for those who have not actually watched that uh, video that the freeze and the rise of uh, one world religion you need to go watch it go and watch that broadcast we had I need you to listen to the guest speakers analysis analysis of that statement that the freeze made anyone who doesn't believe Jesus is the son of God uh, uh, who uh, anyone who believes Jesus is the only way to God um, to get through to God is a lie and a thief. The analysis V made and the analysis he made about Daddy Freeze. You need to listen to it. And if Daddy Freeze has listened to that and he has the Spirit of God, I believe that will cause him to be a different person. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate Daddy Freeze. I love him. I love Adelaja. These people have influenced me. They have, they, are, they have a good, they have a good uh, course. They are fighting. But we cannot also overlook their issues. You see, one, one thing also, I, I want to see this opportunity to say that one thing I, I can also understand about many people on Adelaide's platform and um, Daddy Freeze's platform is this, is the hypocrisy I can't understand. You see, let, let me tell you something about this, 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 this folks. Now, if Daddy Freeze or Adelaja is critiquing Oyedepo and, Ad, and Adeboye and the likes of them, and they are saying very harsh things about these people, do you know that not a soul, dare not, nobody from Adela, uh, Deboye's platform or Adela, um, Oyedepo's platform can dare enter Daddy Freeze's platform and, and speak something negative about Daddy Freeze or Adela ja. What can you? They will eat you raw. They will eat you raw. Because, they, they, see, these men are breeding renegades. They're not breeding people with the spirit of Christ to love and win people. They're just building, they're just breeding, um, 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 how will I put it, um, um, rebels, people who are just, you know, this with this hateful, um, um, rebel, this spirit to just rebel, but nothing godly about the people they, they are they are they are building. People with these people just, you know, open their mouths and call their fellow brethren, you fool. They come to your platform and they will call you a fool. But yet, if you go to their platform and even crit, not even insult, oh, not even insult Adelaja or insult Daddy Freeze, disagree with them. You will see the way they will eat you raw. So that is the height of hypocrisy. So if then Adela Janda, the priest, can criticize Adeboye and you do not expect people from their platform to come and defend these, their geos and attack the priest, you block them instantly. Why then do you come to my platform to insult me when I critique Adela Jan and Adeboye um, um, that the priest? And I even do that. I don't even do that with the venomous spirits, spirit, um, 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 that the priest uses to insult these people. I only point out these things so that God's people can see and so that they can see with the hope that they would also repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. Just as I would expect that if I'm going wrong, you correct me as well. Idol worship, brethren. That is the idol worship we are talking about. Because these people worship these men. They idolize these men. They believe that they are infallible. They believe that Adelaja and Daddy Freeze can critique other men that are erring, but nobody can critique Adelaja and Daddy Freeze that are erring. That's their policy because they idolize these men. Many of these people do not follow Christ. They follow these men idolatry but brethren sorry I've, I've uh i've deviated a little bit but i just want to leave you with um adela um, message again which was the true position he had before of course uh, that freeze influenced him to start speaking um in tongues <laughs> a different language when he told him i can't believe you someone of your intelligence uh, will say something like that and then he just oh, okay yes allah is the same god as the bible you know adela people are watching you i mean don't, you, you tend to forget that you make videos and people see those videos. You have to try to be consistent. Anyway, God bless you all. I want to leave, leave you with um, the truth Adela just stood for before he went the other way. And um, Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. God bless you. I love you all. You guys are, are wonderful and great. I hope for better fellowship with you guys. I hope to um, get this platform to the point where we can begin to have open discussions beyond the imposition of one man that is how it was in the bible that is how it should be if i say anything and you disagree with me you can feel free i'm not i'm not adelaja i'm not that freeze i don't i i don't seek the set i'm not i don't seek to be the center of att attraction i seek jesus to be so if i'm wrong i'm wrong if you correct me and i'm and i'm wrong i'll gladly accept it because there's no pride there's nothing i i, I want to know the truth myself so 
God bless you. Remain blessed. And uh, keep the flag flying. Please contend for the faith. Go back to the scriptures. Study the word. Pray for the Holy Spirit guidance. And you will never go wrong. God's sheep will always hear his voice. And the stranger they will not follow. God bless you. Because I think that if you are worshipping another God like Muhammad, like the Islamic God, and you are worshipping, following, you are a follower of Muhammad, they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And they don't believe that Jesus is God. So there is no way you will be a lover of truth and you will deny Jesus. 